Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's tutorial is image quality and background comparison between the Olympus and Canon systems. Olympus loaned me the M1X Pro Level camera for a couple of months and I'm about halfway through my testing of the camera. Some people had some questions about image quality and background, so I wanted to get this tutorial out this week. Here's a nice micro four thirds size image from the Olympus system. And in this comparison, I'm trying to keep some of the things constant. So focal length was constant at effective focal length of 840 millimeters. With the Canon system, I shot with a 600 and a 1.4. And then with the Olympus system, I shot with a 300 F4 and a 1.4 extender. And that gave me an effective focal length of 840 millimeters because of that crop sensor. And as you can tell in this image, the quail is sharp and the background is blurred a little bit. If we compare that to the Canon EOS R, the bird is about the same size. It's just a little bit larger, but the background is a little bit softer. And then again, here's the Canon 5D Mark IV. The bird's the same size as the EOS R, and the background is just as soft as the EOS R. So I've tried to keep everything at the same focal length so we could really compare the backgrounds and see how the Olympus handled the background. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see that the Olympus bird is just a little bit smaller. The Canon bird is just slightly larger, not by much though. But the real difference for me is this background here. And you can see that there's more detail in the background in the Canon EOS R and the Canon 5D Mark IV backgrounds were a little bit softer. And then here's another comparison. This is a, with the Olympus. This is a micro four thirds. This is a female mountain bluebird. You can see that she's kind of small in the frame. She was pretty far away. But look at the color in the background, the blue sky, and then the gray sage background um, halfway down the frame there. And then here it is with the Canon EOS R. And I was really surprised that the colors just look better with Olympus than they do with the Canon gear. And that is a big surprise for me because I always thought that Canon had the best color science. And then here they are side by side. You've got both birds pretty much the same size in the frame, but the colors in the background for the Olympus, I think were just a little bit better, a little bit more realistic. The Canons didn't pick up as much blue. I'm sure I could pull that out in post-processing, but that's not the point for me. It's, it's how do the camera sensors work and is it gonna give me what I want? So I have to do less work in post-processing. So let me know what you think about this comparison. Really, I just want to talk about image quality and backgrounds and see getting soft backgrounds. I'm not really going to talk about much else yet. I still have another month for using the Olympus system. And then when I'm done with that, I'll do a full review on the Olympus OMD EM1X for bird photography. Okay, the male mountain bluebird's coming in. Okay, so I got him with the Canon gear. Now I'm gonna use the Olympus gear. He's a little closer than he was with the other two cameras, but I think that'll be okay. Hey, if you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a like and a subscribe. Uh, share this with your friends, I'd really appreciate that. Remember, if you want to learn more about bird photography, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and a trade paperback. Or you can order a copy from my website. Hey, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.